much of things that are in our lives, um, you realize that your walls pile up. Some of us have an emotional wall. Wall. Um, you really don't want to experience authentic love because you have an ecclesiastic wall. You are stuck in traditions. You are un you're really not letting God manifest his power in your life. Um, walls happen, but the wall is, listen to this, a temporary inconvenience to ruin the other side of this wall. What God promised you is that today I'm not going to miss what God has for my life. Um, um, let, let me talk to somebody and whoever's typing and say, it's good to see you typing because you realize that you have to really, God has you right where he wants you to be. Um, as I do some history, um, God was with Moses and now he's with Joshua. There is one thing, one thing standing in their way and that one thing is the wall of Jorah city. Um, he, he says, I, I need you to take over the city, take it. I need to know, I need you to know who you are. I need you to know more when we, when, when, when we want things from God. Like, I'm not messing with the devil take with all the power of God behind me. And it's not just cars, clothes, materialistic things. Sometimes I'm for peace in my house. I'm going to have to fight to be able to take back the things that, that were taken from me. That can be your peace. You can take it back. You have to understand that you're in front of a wall. One thing is standing in your way are walls. See, fight. Um, they just kind of sat back and they annihilated whoever came against them. See, Jeremiah to the children of Israel um, that he gives them instruction in Joshua in a choir representing Israel and Jericho represents. Um, what, I, what I like about, what I didn't like about Jericho, which oftentimes happens in the city to know nobody can get in. They had enough resources that they didn't have to leave or going to sit back and wait until he's going to see if you're going to give, give up. See, he's going to do now. He needs to see, are you going to give up? Are you going to come in very tall and strong, but you have to be able to go through that situation and be ready to know they have had other armies, other people trying to take the resources they have. And wander around for 40 years, um, are going to be able to sing and praise their way to take them. was known for its delusions. Watch this. I'm going to give you, give you some scripture, but I'm just trying to paint the story. Jericho were built, if you look at the ancient text and look at the historical manifestation, um, Paul. But when you stand up close, the was 10 stories high. The way they do this was is that the way, <laughs> the next level that you're getting ready to go in God, you might think is going to take, you look, you look at the shallow end, you look at the deep end. Once you get into the water, you realize that I can actually stand up in this part of the pool. That's, the law is only four stories, but because of your fear and because of the way the enemy put 10 miles in circumference of what, what we do in one day. What, what do I mean? It wasn't as big as you thought it was. That hurt and that pain. We are talking about a, a, a very, very small city. It's only 10 miles per trade. Compton seems like a very, very big city. I know I grew up there. It looks like it's one of the biggest cities in Southern California, but it's only 10 miles. It doesn't even foul. We think something is bigger than what it really is. We think that that time when we was going to give up, and God is saying, I don't want you to get caught up in illusions anymore. I need you to. Sorry, it's having some. Uh, this isn't the time that we need non. I don't want to say to come and serve. We really need to have people who are willing to fight the walls up next because now family or paper towels and the lines were too long and you were so bad at the line. People is that we have to get to a place in understanding. Um, I wish I had people to ask questions. God has really prepared us to knock down walls, but the only way we're going to be able to fear anymore. There's no time for fear. The enemy is not to your fear. Um, I remember as a kid growing up, there was a big old dog. I forgot the man's name. I think it was Mr. Johnson. But we used to run. We used to climb. I accidentally tripped when my friends ran off. I told my friends until the next time we went around. What happens is, is that when we went around the next time, like, why aren't you running? The dog is coming. And I'm walking. And them that Mr. Johnson told me that though that dog is... I, I, I keep him on the leash. And so where you think that solution, that, Ill that illusion is ready and prepared to understand that God is going to be able to bring it back. He has control over the situation. But I'm not realizing that God is always in control. He just wants me to be obedient. He wants me to, to be able to walk with my head. Um, because in a natural eye, it seems like Jericho isn't. But what if 
they don't need all that. All you really need is God, the kingdom of God. You need a strategy. We look at the text. Um, um, God gives clearance. Um, but the thing is, and I wish then God is now talking to Joshua. Joshua gives strategy to the people day around seven times. We have to march around doing what they were supposed to do. We have to march around. We have to play. Um, but in our lives, we want to have back talk. When you're in the army, you cannot talk back to your instruction on how to make it to this next level in your life. Sometimes you don't have to say it. If that is the case with the children of Israel, is that they don't have any. Uh, we don't have to talk about it anymore. We just have to do what he says to do. So we're not the, uh, the widows and the orphans and, and the resources that we need. We're just going to bring them to the storehouse. That's the kind of kind of obedience that God wants. Afraid to see each other. The illusion was that we will never be able to get back to normal. And here we are slowly to what we consider the new normal. But what if, what if the new normal things like that? Imagine if we didn't follow the rules of the land of God. Do you think you are going to be able to, um, not only where they don't want anybody who's going to give up when they're in pain, when you and the only way you're going to get past it is going through pain again. You got to do is give, re, re, say his word back to you, and you will be able to get past what you're pretty sure. Half of us don't, can't walk one mile. Imagine walking around. gives them another clear instruction further down in the text. He tells them to start making noise and start blowing the trumpets and things like that. And it says here, great shout, and the wall of the city will fall down flat. And the people have to do what God is telling us to do. Secondly, we need to be off from Shinzu. Where is it? Where is it? He says, he must tell me, that's letting me know that we can't be trying to do our own thing. Where the wall is going to fall. There is no individual walls. Everybody got walls. I mean, not the issue. The, 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 the thing that we want you to do the most is we want you to come singing another song. You can't be, you can't be, because you have your individualism. Too much that I'm, I'm not against social media. I'm not against pictures, Instagram, Facebook, and everything. Forget, or we, we don't worry about the person next to us. It's, it's, we have taken that same, that same spirit and happens when you're on an airplane that when there's a turbulence or anything like that else. The problem is, is that we're putting on our mask, but we don't want to help the next person, people next to me. That's how we've been living our lives as far as ministry. We don't want to be obedient. We don't want to say the same song. Be ch child of God in the, um, in, in the, in the city of uh, in Jericho, the children of Israel, all had their own accord that they said, no matter what, if I'm tired, we're going to march around this. We're going to do what we're supposed to do. And we're even faith, 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 faith. Um, when you're, when you dig up the remains and when you do some instructions around the um, city of Jericho, um, I'm reading and studying. Archaeologists found that the steps around under the first days they were marching, it wasn't in sync. But it seems like that on this in the ground, they were able to test the ground and see that these the where they were stepping were allegedly where the city of sound and tremble and the horns and the music and their stumping and their yelling had or glass. So imagine what type of frequency they were on to be able to bring the next move of God, to be able to prepare God's kingdom. How do we get to we, some things you're not going to be able to see, but against principalities. And nobody wants walls to be crawling down, but nobody wants to. And we all have lives. We have children. We have jobs. We have careers. But if you really, but I had to take my son to football practice, stay an hour and some change because he asked me, can he stay to you later? Because this is a sacrifice. And I'm realizing I don't, we had to, we need, we literally were not open for an entire, filling up the pews is that we don't want to call. No, 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 no. That uh, and Sister Ashley Perry reaches past the pen and we are all on one accord, but we don't even have, and, and, and for those who are watching, imagine if you got, that the children are now want to lead in prayer. A minute, because the thing is that she doesn't want to be the one to be able to bring her family together in your glory, she has to be the one. And no, you're not going to like it. No, it's going to be upset. No, you don't want to do it. You have to be ready for when he says when. I love coming down here, but I, that I have to operate in my very lifestyle. The major wall in our life is ourselves, and the only way we're going to get it to fall down is if we're on the same. My computer is slow. Y'all y'all forgive me. 10 and 23. Hebrews 10 and 23, it says, let us hold children of Israel were in a bad, in a, in a circle. They remember when God brought them out of Egypt. I promise that because when I was a kid, my, Moses told me that we are leaving Egypt. We're going to go to the promised land. But if I was a kid, remember, because he has been faithful. This isn't the first battle that they've been. You kept me when I was 10. You kept me when I was 15. I could have lost my life back then to get to a certain sick frequency that they had to understand that though we, though it's not. 
Because they knew that the same God that took me out of those past situations Whew. things hope for in the, in the evidence or convictions of things not seen. Another prayer request I got this is a tide of, of, of Transformation Church in Oklahoma says, crazy faith, how in the world are we going to get some walk? You telling me that as long as we march and get tired, as long as I scream, how? Because I can't see it on four stories that they looked in. I'm caught up what I'm seeing. It's what it's not what I'm seeing. It's what I'm not seeing because I want to see it later. I don't see it. I don't see it now. I'm going to see it later. I don't send it all together now, but I know I'm going to be there soon because I believe. Watch this. The, the, the new children of Israel, I call it the new, the Josh, that through endurance and through the encouragement of scriptures, we might through endurance and through encouragement of the scriptures, we. But now, in my mature level, at 30, I already know, because guess what? If I endured all of those things from, from, from 30 to 50, or 30 to 40, or 30 to 31, or 30 to th leave me nor forsake me. I know God's promises is that he will be with me always until the ends of the earth. I know God's promises is, if I could, I can write my own scriptures about my own stories and my own testimony about how God with the walls of Jericho and the art of war, it says God interfered with the sovereign. See, the sovereign would be what Jericho capacity, we thought military capacity, praying. Because when we pray, God is able to operate in the supernatural, praises of glory and honor, and this four-foot wall that looks ten feet around beyond our comprehension. Um, Psalms, stones and coals of fire. And he sent out his arrows and scattered them, and he flashed the last of the breath of your nostrils. That's connecting us to the beginning of Genesis. We are in the earth. With his very command, with just him speaking, things don't have the ability to operate in that same thing. Because we understand that life and death is in the power. Understand that I'm still studying, and hopefully I get it together quickly, is that when Jesus said, I'm still trying to figure out what's greater than what Jesus did. What's greater than feed? How can I raise up the dead? How can I heal a leper? How, how Lord? We talk about social media, that type of level of anointing that we really literally walk with the man. Imagine, or five million people at one time can see what God is doing. Often have, now times have changed. We have the ability to heal the sick, but don't look at it, I mean, heal the blind, but don't our mind. So imagine one word that you say can shift the whole atmosphere full of blind people who now see. And we have to operate such as we can't let arrows and walls bother us when we, or, or emotional trauma walls, or, 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 or financial walls, or, or relationship walls. James 2.26. Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. For by grace they boast. I like that because as we relate it to the, the, to the children of Israel, Pop Jones, no one person can get the glory out of what just said that this is grace. The children of Israel should have been wiped out alone. They had to literally get their faith reactivated in the midst of their obedience. Especially when I'm tired especially when I don't want to do it no more, that God lets us get to a physical place in our life that when we physically are at our lowest, here it is, um, I'm working on um, um, the eulogy for my own. Remember that God made the rock that we are hitting. So if he is by on him spiritually, and the moment we rely on him spiritually, that's when the physical supernatural part of my, my, my illustrations, God speaks to me through cartoons and superheroes because they have the Superman first was in, his, in the last, the man of steel. You were always sick. And then as you see when he was operating his team, his eyes is super. He can shoot laser beams out of his eyes. His strength, he doesn't. But watch this. He had all of those strengths. But the one thing he couldn't do is to be able to fly. What he does. So he's lived the life. He's lived the life. And the father began to minister him and remind him and tell him who he is. But he's falling to the ground. But he had to take a minute at the bottom of the Antarctica and he want to do and who I'm supposed to be for his kingdom and for his glory. And at that moment, imagine when you hit rock bottom where your, what your prayer life will be. Imagine if you got, if this is it, I'm going to have to give you all the glory. If this is it, I'm going to have to give you all the praise. Never, Jesus says, nevertheless, nevertheless, live this human experience. And sometimes she says, God don't understand. I said, no, 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 baby, no, sweetheart. Because Jesus said, even Jesus didn't want to do the work. And 
past this cup. In, in, in translation of 2021, I don't want to do this. Why? If Jesus had all of God's glory, 100% God and 100% man, but he understood that at this point in my life, to sing songs, they have to play horns, and they don't have to say anything, and they're marching, and they're tired and tired. Because, listen, it is that we'll be able to take credit. We'll be able to say, yeah, you know, like, we, we had everything. Result of their works, it was about their obedience when you're tired. <laughs> it's my last scripture, and we get ready to go home. Here it is, here it is. Job 38, verse 4 through 6, 38, verse 4 through 6, just, just the beginning part. Who determined the measurement? Surely you know. Or God literally telling Job, yeah, Job, you don't even know um, um, how, how often your skin sheds. You can't tell me how, how a hippopotamus, and once they sleep, their body, why? We didn't even know that. We don't even know how that worked in front of a wall. I am now, we're going to end with this. I am now with the walls of Jericho. I ste they stepped to the wall. The wall was only four stories. I still serve the all-knowing God. I still serve the all-powerful accord. Listen to my man or woman of God and be able to want to begin to fall. So I don't know this ministry institute. We're going to be recording this. I hope you guys are watching. Um, what can we do moving forward? gave you a lot of understanding of the text things we need to get on one accord we need and the obedience and sacrifice of our serving is in such a translation or what the enemy thought he could do in, in his, his delivery what the enemy thought he can do in our life and if that's what that's what it takes to move to this next level that's what we have to the body of Christ cannot be is in the spiritual realm our major fight is getting on one accord with each other. Our major look around you. See how you can get more obedient. See where you can fall in line. And see where you're willing to make the sacrifice. And make sure you don't have an enemy no more. I need you to get me to this next level. I need you to keep me, have me keep going. Because I have some walls. I thank you, God, for not only teaching us, but also correcting us. Locked up and have all the resources in the house. You've shown us what that means and look like. Now that you're alive in our lives, help us not be so self-centered and self self-concerned about ourselves that we forget that who we're marching next. When we get on one sound vibration, walls literally begin to fall. So God and King Things, I ask for a special prayer over our leaders, Father God. Give them grace and then give them mercy, and I ask for strength for them emotionally. We thank you and we praise you. Thank you, Teen Challenge Ministry Institute. Bless each and every one of you who will be, who will be watching, guys.